Hello Pisces, so great to be with you. Hope you're doing well, sending blessings to you all internationally here in the USA and all over the world. So great to be back with you. Grab your teacups, your cocoa, your cookies, whatever, your coffee, and let's chat at the Tarot Cafe. Let's see what's in store for you, Pisces. I'm so excited. I feel like there are some very strong messages that will be coming through for you. Sending blessings to everyone internationally here in the USA and all over the world. Thank you for visiting me on my podcast and my channel at the Tarot Cafe, my podcast channel. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you here with me another time, another season. Okay, so remember on my podcast, you can locate me on iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, um, Spotify, uh, what Google Podcasts, Spreaker, many, many more. Also, you can check me out, uh, have some visuals at uh, Tara One Love Coach. There, I actually do uh, readings and you can see me do readings according to your sign. Okay. All right. So let's get started and let's look at the energies that are around you now, Pisces. Or remember, it's timeless. So the moment you click on this podcast or video, no matter what day, hour, week, month, or year, spirit has a message for you. It connects with you intuitively on a personal level. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, the first card I pull is the devil ego. That's what it says. It's it's the energy your 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 this is the illusion card, but also is the illusion of feeling like you're trapped, you're in chains or someone have you trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. This also can have something to do with addictions or unhealthy habits as well. So whether that's someone around you or you, this energy is coming up. But in the imagery here, you see these beautiful columns like in Roman times, but you see this angel coming in with a sword and breaking the chain, this this powerful sword and just, you know, slicing the chains in half, breaking you free, letting you uh, be free. So your spirit guides are protecting you. We have the four of wands. So moving into this energy where there's going to uh, be uh, your foundation is going to be more stable. This could mean um, engagements, marriage, um, engagements. Um, but it, it, it you're moving into a more brighter time in your life. And not only that, you have the 10 of cups, which is family, love, marriage. And here we go. So we have that four of wands, but also in your future is an actual marriage. So someone may be proposing to you, uh, Pisces. So get ready for that. Someone is going to share their heart, share their love with you. Wow. I see a beautiful union evolving. Let's move a little bit further and let's see what else is coming in. So those are the energies that are around you. Let me go deeper. Things are coming in very fast with the four of wands. This can also mean some type of travel, traveling to that significant other you want to be with and share time with. There could be some planning going on about being with this special someone as well. Um, but things are coming in very, very, very quick. Okay, so get ready for that. Now, in your past, we have the Eight of Cups. Um, there may have been a time where you may have had to separate or withdraw from a situation in a relationship. Someone may have stepped back. Okay, maybe fell off the radar, possibly. This is in the past, okay? And maybe this is why this is aligned with ego or the devil. Maybe this is why you may have felt a bit trapped. But the angel came in to slice the chains, to, to break you free. Now, we have 
overhead in your mind uh, arena, we have the death card, which is transformation. So spirit is saying that not only things are coming in fast, but the fastness is going to be big change that's coming in. Old things are passed away and new things are about to happen where there's going to be great strength. The energy of strength is coming in. And this can also be a possible uh, Leo Pisces. So, wow. And moving further, we have the illusion coming in. And that is that dream card, what you're fantasizing, what they fantasize about you, what they're thinking about. So that illusion could be something that can be so far out there that huh, you're not even a part of the physical, <laughs> you know? So that's what I pick up with that. It, it could be so deep and so far out there that it seems that you're in that, and that connection can be very deep. You may feel that person's energy around you. It could be really, really um, out there, pretty much, like on cloud 10. So that's what that illusion, things that feel like the person could feel like they're right there with you, but you, you're in such a daydream or they're in such a daydream when they're thinking about you. Hmm. Nine of Cups is the wish card. I pulled that in regards to the illusion. So what Spirit is saying, the illusion is just not an illusion or just not dreaming. Maybe this is your psychic ability kicking in. Okay. Maybe you are seeing wake visions. Okay. When you are daydreaming about this individual or they're daydreaming about you. So I see the spirit of the angel that's around you. So maybe spirit is showing you what is to come in your future. I pull the wish card, the nine of cups. So this tells me that your heart's desire, whatever you're dreaming about, is about to manifest in the physical realm. Now that's powerful. I don't even think I ever said anything like that in a reading, but that's what I'm picking up from spirit. Like, it's, it's don't second guess yourself. Your psych psychic ability is kicking in. And also what's kicking in and part of this dream like state that you're going in. It's showing me the king, the prince of cups, the knight of cups. OK, so wow, Pisces, the energy you're whether this is your energy or whether Scorpio Pisces or Cancer, maybe you're connected to another water sign. But this is showing me that the Prince of Cups is coming in. Somebody is going to tell you how they feel. Someone is carrying love in their heart for you and you for them. So much manifestation of love and relationship is coming up for you in the near future. I'm so excited to see that actually. Let's see what other messages come out. This is very powerful. This is a powerful reading, uh, Pisces. Wow. You may have been on a retreat or just taken some time back um, and disconnect. And this is what I get with that Eight of Cups. But to know that love is meant for you. And, and maybe they needed to be in a place where they felt that they may have not been deserving of you. Um, or they may have felt like they didn't deserve the love that you were given. Um, and this could go back to their childhood, actually. They may have, you know, struggled. Um, but overall, what Spirit is saying that you can actually be, uh, this is also powerful, a medicine to them, Pisces, you know. Um, you are the medicine to, uh, them and they are the medicine to you, vice versa. I see a team energy. I feel like you're both feeding off of each other, but you're the medicine for each other, 
but it's also a sense of healing for the both of you um, as well. Now, if you're single, because Spirit is saying loudly about the single person who is listening here. Now, I feel that the person that you're waiting for and hoping for, my single Pisces, this is the type of person that's coming in for you as well. And I also feel, let's go back to that psychic ability, that dream-like state. Um, I need to go back, okay, Pis Pisces, because Spirit is saying this is what is being shown to you and this is what is supposed to come. This is to come to you. So this illusion, this flashes that you're having, the psychic dreams that you're having, Spirit is saying that I'm showing you what is to come. Fret not. Continue to have faith, okay, and believe in what the powerful uh, prophetic vision that you're having is telling you, okay? So that is very powerful as well. Spirit is showing you what is to come and confirming that love and marriage and this union will manifest in the physical realm will come in your dreams and i'm pulling that wish card your dreams come true and i'm gonna end it on that note pisces this is powerful let me know how it resonates with you by leaving a comment um on the podcast or the video let me know how this powerful message resonates with you i'm excited about it until next time thank you for having this beautiful tea time together over a nice cup of hot tea or coffee until next time god bless you